Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well and hope everyone had a good weekend and hope the this following week will treat you well. Uh, so normally when I see like trashy like prospectuses and SEC dumpster objects, I ignore them and you know just wish they would just go away. Uh, but this one was so particularly bad that I, I felt like I should probably make a video on this just to just to warn people. So unfortunately, in bull markets, uh, they it feels good, uh, but I think people get complacent, and then you know when people get complacent, that's when Wall Street starts dumping trash on like the general public because they they probably think that well people aren't paying attention, so we'll just like dump this garbage on the public and maybe they'll they'll fall for it. I don't want people to fall for this one. Uh, this thing is called a uh, quantified funds. Uh, it. It's also partnering with Title, so these are the um, the folks that are helping the finance and yield max as well. Now, the thing to to keep note is uh, this isn't final, so you know maybe there's still time for these guys to to reconsider and maybe make some some changes. So this prospectus was from April fifth, and again, just to warn you, uh, this is not final by the the even like. When you see like the fine print, the U.S. SEC has not approved or disapproved, so you know keep that in mind. Uh, so they have a good ticker symbol, so it's YLDA. So I thought, oh, they're off to a good start. I uh, read through like the uh, objective, so it says they want to provide current income with the potential for capital appreciation. Uh, that's never a bad thing, and then also seeking to minimize losses, downside risk. So I thought, oh, okay, so pretty good so far. And then when I read to like the um, expense ratio section, I just like there's no way that this will be successful. Uh, I mean, you really need like outstanding returns to kind of offset like this level of level of expense. So in total, this is almost like seven percent uh, right off the bat. I mean, I mean just to break even, you you need a pretty decent return just to. Just to break even. I mean, just forget about like making money on this. Now, maybe there's a small chance that part of this is temporary. So it looks like the, the actual management fees, will, well, even at 105 basis points, it's still a little high. It's higher than even like the the regular yield max and defiance funds. So you know, but you know, at like around one percent. Uh, that that's probably doable, but then when you add in all this other crap, uh, you know, distribution and service, it's like another two percent, and then this acquired fund fees, and uh, like almost four percent. I don't see how people can, well, you know, investors like like the general public can can make any money. Now maybe like if this is just like a first year thing, then maybe. I mean, but I I, I don't know. Uh, so distribution and service, like I don't know if they can. I mean, they should cut that. I mean, other companies don't have any problems uh, with this. Like, and then acquired fund fees. Maybe that that part is uh is maybe they can get rid of that after the first year or so. But, but still, like even if you add like one and and two, I mean that's like over three percent, and that's just ridiculous for any. Uh, exchange traded fund, especially in 2024. Uh, but it's, well, it's a real shame because uh, I thought like this could have been a t contender because they have like closed end funds, um, business development companies, uh, master limited partnerships. So that there could be like some, uh, like for example, like oil pipeline uh, stocks in this one too. So this could have been like really interesting. And then of course you have like derivatives that could be that could go either way. But this could have been pretty interesting, um, but unfortunately, I, you know, at that expense level, it, I can't say like this will survive very long. And they also have a like a buy right strategy too. So that this is basically a cover call. So like you have a lot of good stuff in here, um, but it, but again, I, I don't know how they'll be able to convince the public. Or maybe that's the, the the ploy. Like maybe they they think, oh well, people will just buy anything that's like a yield uh, fund. Um, so watch out, folks. Uh, and then they have they also have leverage in here. Now shorting by itself, I don't think that's bad. But then when you combine all this other stuff, like it's yeah, it could get 
get pretty ugly in a hurry. Now the management is interesting. Uh, like I, I already mentioned in other videos, like defines and yield max that might be getting stretched in terms of like staffing. So like this new person, I, I don't know, I'm not familiar with this name, uh, David, but I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this person's name. I don't wanna butcher it. Uh, but then you like, like Michael Venuto, he also uh, is on. He also works on like the YMAX and YMAG. So I don't know if that'll cause any issues for those funds, but what we'll see. And then also Charles over here, uh, the CFA charter holder, also works on like the defined and yield max funds among amongst other things. So again, I, I don't know. This this might be like. Uh, you know, I had like the G Moab thesis, like the grandmother of all bubbles. So usually you you see this type of like, garbage, like when people are you know having a good time, they're not they're probably not paying attention as long as people are making money. But then like after that, then you know it's it's gonna get really ugly uh, real quick. So just be careful out there. Uh, and of course, like this is just my opinion. So you know you'll take it or leave it. Uh, it's not financial advice. Uh, if you like this type of content, uh, please consider giving this a like. Uh, any subscriptions are welcome. Uh, subscribe, uh, super thanks are also greatly appreciated. And I'll try to get to all reasonable requests and topics uh, as soon as I can. And then, you know, if you throw a super thanks my way, I'll I'll, I'll move it up like the priority list. Uh, so thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.